Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'm going to teach you five most common topics that are asked in Excel job interviews. All right, those topics are VLOOKUP, charts, pivot table, removing duplicates and protecting sheets. These are the most commonly asked topics in a job interview and in this video you will learn all these topics. All right. And there are more topics also that you will be able to learn in the at the end of the video. I'll tell you how you can learn all these other topics also. You will also be able to download this link, this practice file from myelesson.org in the end of the video. I'll tell you how you can get that for free. So let's start learning. We look up one of the most important questions that is asked in interviews about we look up. So they ask you, do you know we look up? Simply say yes, because after watching this video, you will know how to use VLOOKUP. Now, VLOOKUP is nothing but a lookup formula which allows you to fetch data based on a criteria. For example, let's understand that these are the four students that we have, Lucky, Chavla, Thor, Munni and Sheila. All right, and these are the subjects that they studied in maths, physics and maths, English and physics. And these were their marks. So Lucky scored the highest 99, 99 and 99 in everything else and the other the, these are the marks for the others now if your teacher says that you want to get the marks for Thor for math how would you get that now you can get that using VLOOKUP by applying VLOOKUP so we type in is equal to VLOOKUP and then it says lookup value it would be the name on the basis of which you are looking up the results correct so we will select that and press comma and then we'll then it's asking for table array now table array is nothing but that range where your answer is located along with your lookup basis that is the name all right select this completely press comma and now it says column index number now this is the most important part since you're looking for maths so you will have to find out the column index number of maths so how would you find that what's what is the starting number the starting number would always be that column where the lookup basis is located. That is column one. This is column one. Then this is column two. This is column three and column four. So maths is column one. So we will type in column. Sorry, maths is column two. Name would be column one. And maths would be column two. Column two, comma, zero would get the exact result. Nothing approximate that this is the nearby result. No. You'll get the exact results, always use zero. And you now know the marks for Thor in math was 72. If you make it Sheila, see the marks would change. They turn to 69. Correct? Again, Thor, it's 72. So this is how VLOOKUP works. To learn VLOOKUP more in detail, go to myelesson.org and I've explained it in around 10 more examples. Now, the next important topic is removing duplicates in Excel. Now, there are many ways of going about it. The easiest one is the one which I'm going to teach you is by going to the data tab and using the remove duplicates option. It's a built in command given by Microsoft Excel. So to apply this, select this range. Now the duplicates are 390, 390, 490 and 490. All right. You select this range, go to data, click on remove duplicates, click on column C and click O. And it says three duplicates values found and removed. Nine unique values remain. So only 1390, 1490, the rest were gone. Click OK. See, you are able to remove duplicates. So if they ask you in the, tell them there are many ways of going about it. And the simplest way is going to the data tab and using the remove duplicates. If you say this, They'll be impressed. Next is you using password protection on your sheet. If they ask you, can you do password protection? Tell them, sir, yes, I can do it. And there are three things that we can protect in Excel. First, the complete workbook wherein a password would be required to open the workbook. Second is the sheet that we are looking at right now. This is Excel sheet. It can be protected so nobody can make an entry over here. Or any changes and the third option is locking this complete sheet but leaving a few cells open for editing so you can say yes sir we can do password protection in three ways workbook at the workbook level at the sheet level and at the sheet at the cell level 
I'll tell you how. The easiest is going to the file tab and choosing the protect workbook option. And from here, choose encrypt with password. Give it a password. The password I'm giving is one, two, three. Click OK. Type it again, one, two, three. Now what would happen if you see the color has changed to yellow. Now, if anybody tries to open this, if you email this file to anyone, if I try to open it, it will ask for a password. So that's password protection. Now, if you want to protect the sheet so that nobody can edit anything over here, then you go to review tab and click on protect sheet. Type the password one, two, three. Again, type the password one, two, three. And now the sheet is protected. I'm trying to something says you cannot change anything. If you want to work on it, you have to go to review tab again. Click on unprotect password and type in one, two, three. Okay? Simple. Now, you want to go ahead and say, make this range editable and the rest, everything sh should be protected. Then you select this range. I'm giving it a color so that you know what sheet we are, what range we are talking about. Select it, go to the font option over here and click on this small drop down. From here, go to protection and uncheck this locked option. Click OK. And now go to review again, click on protect password, protect sheet and click on the password option. Type in the password one, two, three. Type it again, one, two, three. Now your sheet is protected. I'm going to, nothing works. I'm going to type here and it allows me to type. See, so now you know how to protect your sheet and three levels. If you give this answer, they'll be just amazed. Next more important thing is they would ask you, do you know how to use pivot tables? Simply say, yes, sir, I can do use pivot tables for analysis and data reports. How do we use them? So we select our data, ensure that there is a header that is there on our data. All right, we select it. We go to insert. Oh, the sheet is protected. So let me unprotect it. <laughs> One, two, three. It is unprotected now. So I select my data. Very simply like this and go to insert. And from there, I insert a pivot table. It will ask you select a range, which we have already selected. Always use the pivot table on a new worksheet. Click OK. And now you can start building it. So I'm just covering the basic of pivot table. The more important features are taught on my website, mylesson.org. So if I want to find out the sales for country wise for these cars, then I just put the topics over in the rows and the values if, where the number should come should go always in values. So you are able to find how many sales happen in India, Japan, Pakistan, UK. You can simply find it for cities, see, and say for January. See, immediately in two minutes, you were able to get this data. For more details on pivot table, go to mylesson.org and learn more about pivot tables. And then we will learn about charts. Now, if they would ask you, can you prepare charts? Of course, you would have to say yes, and I'll tell you how. Because after watching this video, you'll know how to create charts. Select your data, and I'm going to teach you a magic trick. Press F11. Automatically, a chart is, chart is created for your data, the best suited chart. If you want to change it, you can go ahead and change the chart type from here. Make it a line chart, a pie chart. Let's make it a line chart. See? And the simple and the other way of going about creating charts is select your data, go to insert, and from here choose the charts. If you hover over these icons, you will know what kind of charts would be created. So if you want to create, say, a pie chart. So this is a pie chart. With one click, you can create charts. I have taught how to create all other types of charts on my site, mylesson.org. You can go there and learn more about charts. But this is the way. Now, like I said, there are more things that you can learn. There are more options, more questions that, that can be asked. They are, they are listed over here. And this is the video link. You can download this sheet by, from, by going to myelesson.org and looking for this topic, Excel for job interviews. So this is how my site is going to look like. 
and you go to the Excel training section and you will find this video, Excel for job interviews. And from there, you can download this sheet for free, no charges, and you can learn all these options. Plus, I have covered all the other examples also over here. And, and also, you can go to this video. It contains all these options that I've explained in detail. All right. So hope you like this video. If you did, please go ahead and click on the like button. If you have a question or something to say about my video, type it in the comments and do please subscribe to my channel so that whenever I make a new video, you will be informed about it and you will know what all new videos are coming up. You'll also be able to see my other videos also. And I'll also be motivated. So thank you for watching this video. This was your Excel Guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.